If you're watching this video, you probably already know this is the Beta FPV Meteor 65 Pro and you wanted to know how to bind it with your radio. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you today. Let's go. Before we begin, we have to understand what receivers we're having in this flight controller in order for us to make the correct judgment to bind with our radio. So my radio is currently at ExpressLRS 3.X and which means we will need to flash the re uh, receiver firmware to 3.x in order for them to mind. Okay, so in general, these tiny oops will have a SPI based receiver, but this one is different. This one is having a serial based receiver, which means you no longer flash it through beta flight. You don't have to flash the beta flight firmware, you flash it through Wi Fi and ExpressLS configurator. Okay. So if you want to know more about the difference between SPI and serial base ELS receiver, I have leave a link at the top right and you can go check it out. All right, let's begin to flash the firmware. To know which firmware we are currently having on this flight on this receiver, we're going to have to plug in the battery and make it sit for about 30 seconds for the receiver to enter Wi-Fi mode. And once it's in Wi-Fi mode, you should be able to connect it via your computer and you will be able to spot which exact firmware it is. Okay, so during this process, make sure you keep a lot of airflow to your VTX, otherwise it's gonna be very hot and it will burn. Okay, you have been warned. Okay, you're gonna to go to your Wi-Fi, tap on your computer, and we are going to hit express lrs and if you are asked any password the password is express lrs all lowercase once you connect a separate web page should pop out okay so on the web page we will basically be able to spot our target which is going to be the esp8285 2.5 gigahertz rx so you can see currently I am already at 3.2, but I'm just going to show you how to flash it, which is going to be essentially the same. Let's close this and we're going to go to the ExpressLS configurator to build a firmware. Once we're at the ExpressLS configurator, we're going to look at the tabs we're going to select. And if you wanted to download ExpressLS configurator, the links is going to be at the description. The first one is we're going to see which version we want. We're just going to select 3.20 because I like to use the one that is a little bit previous. I don't like to use the newest one. I know this one works. You can choose this one if you want. So the target is the one is the name of the board. So the board, I know it's an ESP, right? But actually it's going to be the DIY 2.4 gigahertz because it was built in. And once you open the sub tab, you're going to see ESP8285, which is exactly which we saw earlier. And this is the one you're going to select. And we are going to just select Wi-Fi, flashing method. And you're going to just set up your binding phrase. Just make sure you set up your binding phrase same as your radio. Otherwise, it's not going to work. With the binding phrase, how it works is if you set up the same binding phrase for your radio and your receiver, once you power your drone and your receiver, and as long as they are having the same firmware, you should be able to bind directly. You don't have to press the bind button. So very convenient. And once we're done, we're just gonna hit build. Okay, so you're gonna see a separate folder link is popping out. And just make sure later on, this is the one we're gonna use. I don't, I don't know what it's this one for, but we don't have to use that one. So, but we're just gonna save both to desktop and we are going to add a new folder called Meteor, uh, Meteor RX. And you're gonna save it. Okay. All right, we can close this and we are going to power up your drone again. So it goes to Wi-Fi mode. And once it's in Wi-Fi mode, we can flash it via the web page. Okay, so same drill. We're going to go to the Wi-Fi icon and you're gonna find ExpressLRS RX and you're gonna hit connect. Once the web page is open, yours probably is gonna be different than me. Yours, if you're in 2.x, you're just gonna scroll down and you're gonna see right here in the middle, there is going to be an update option. But since I, I am in the newer firmware, I have to go to the update section 
and you're gonna see exactly the same one in your first page. So firmware updates, you're gonna select choose file and we're going to, to go to the MeUrx file and we are going to select the one we just got and you're just gonna hit update. Okay, so update successful. All right, we have completed the flashing, so it's 3.20, okay. And you can close this and let's look at our radio. Next, we're gonna bring on our radio. And since my radio has already been pre-flashed to ELRS 3.X and the binding phrase has been set up as 654321, basically same as my RX. So once I powered it up, the drone should automatically bind. To know how to flash this radio, I also have a detailed tutorial and it's going to be at the link on the top right. Okay, so we're going to power up a radio. Welcome to HTX. And next we're going to power up our drone. And it should bind directly. And once we flip the arm switch, it should arm. All right. Okay, so in today's video, we went over how to bind a Meteor 65 Pro to your HTX TX12 radio. So as long as you have a HTX EOLIS radio, it should be the binding method should be somewhat the same. And I guess this wraps us up this video today. And if you have additional questions, please leave it at the comment section, or you can simply just email me. And if you like my content and wanted to see more in the future, please subscribe to stay tuned. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.